Hello guys, this is JC4R. And some fire. And I have a bit of a confession to make. This first is half. a re-recording because the first time we tried doing this, we, uh, everything was going fine and all, but the recording messed up. So we have to redo this and run it. Yeah. We gotta do about half of Moth Island yet again. We got the second half already recorded, so it's probably gonna be a weird jump. I haven't tried editing it yet, but I'm pretty sure that there's no problem with recording. I mean, if anything, we'll have to re-record that too. If that's at the, the moment, case, then it's gonna be hell. At the moment, though, this is the only thing we gotta really do, so. Don't leave me! I was like that. Uh huh. Nice. Even stuff. Alright then, well we're back. And you just keep dying. Well fine, I guess I'll just try and see how far I can get then. Well yeah, that was so intelligent. I'll go ahead and give you a bit of advice. The top half is easier than the lower half. Don't even know why. Well, I no. And... I'm not too keen on this world too much because everything is really hard to do. A lot of these guys' enemies are hard to see and... Especially at night. Yeah, nighttime is horrendous and there's a lot of things that can kill you in one hit. This level in particular is probably my least favorite, so... It's the most favorite because of death. Yeah. I mean, regardless of how little I don't like the world, I gotta admit, it still has good music. And I won't argue that. Whoa, what did I hit? Hello, Gumball Man. Wow, for a second I thought I heard a noise of me dying. I don't know why. I was gonna say, what just happened? <gasps> I mean, that noise. Around here, it's especially really annoying since you can, like, somewhat hardly see anything that, like, goes with the background. Right here, in particular. For instance, there's gonna be a floating head guy anywhere. I just see there he was. And there's another one, and another one. If it wasn't for the fact that I'm spamming coins, I probably would have died. But yeah, hey, you gotta defend yourself somehow. Ah! Thought you could sneak up on me, didn't you? I'm gonna go ahead and just swell it now. Something is going to kill me. I'm waiting for it. I know it's going to come. And here I am, basically the end anyway. Crap, 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 crap. I hate this. Alright, quick, quick, quick. Shoot, shoot, shoot the thing now. Holy crap. That was so close, it was scary. That could have ended it all. We did it. And I believe we did it better than last time. No, it was about equal. They were both about eight minutes. Hmm. Well, at least that one felt less painful. I don't think we died as much. Yeah. Oh, I might have died. Alright, now... Remember to take the, um... Not the inside, right? So it's a little confused on why we fight something twice. Hello. Well, that worked out well. Die. There we go. Up. That's one move that's kind of funny, is if you charge it, he farts. So yes, you can charge it, Gomon has a flaming coin, oh yeah, firecracker bomb, and bazooka. lock on bazooka. I will catch up. On my knee, just stealing all the money here. Plus when you do, uh, use the whole piggyback thing, it doesn't actually take away any of your points for doing so. So even though Gomon's throwing two flaming coins and stuff, he doesn't lose his charge-ups, those cost extra. 
Holy crap, I didn't die this time. I was so expecting to. Okay, let's not jump on this That's alright, we got something that we do. Close. We can keep it up. There we go. Oh my! Oh, look, I got an extra one. Well then. Even though it does look like he's flying spoons, you don't actually see the spoon handle. So it's like he's holding the spoon handle, the uh, part you put in your mouth. It's like he's holding that part and waving with the handles. He is. Yeah, no, it's weird. When I asked to say we died a lot last time I saw him. I love that any time we die a lot, it, it, it like, it fails. Example, Ryu do. Like a stump. An upset stump. Yeah. My opinion, though, is this place is a lot easier to go through underwater. So, I advise switching over. I mean, you can go ahead and make your own choice, but I just feel more secure underwater, so. Yeah. Once do it, plus it also feels quicker, too. Oh, smart. That worked out. Man, I am just so intelligent. Can you tell? This underwater music is nice. Purdy. Hey, whoa, what hit me? Was that fishing? What? Yeah. Hold on, I think you can, like. Whoa, when you hit that, you become invincible. Oh, that was smart. Up, up. See, that goes by so quick. I don't know about you, but I don't feel safe with that guy. I just kind of... There. I like how his hair is held down. I learned the timing. Her hair is pulled back too. <laughs> Gravity no longer exists in hair now. What do you want to. Well, it's nighttime, so. Well. Uh, looks like it's just turning night, though. Well, if we hurry, now nah, it's like almost turning day, so come on. Alright, fine. Who knows when we're going to show all these fireworks? Eh. <sighs> Alright, now this is... It is day. Okay. Well, since we're right by it, you want to just go to... The... Yeah. Sh oh, yeah, now it's day. Alright, I see how it is. Now, what you do is you talk to the Iguana Men, and instead of them just giving you entry passes so quickly, you actually gotta go for a bit of a trade around. So, first one was what? Over here? I uh, originally didn't have this memorized, but because, you know, this is the second go-around, we know it better now. I can't even tell who's off. That was me! <laughs> Crap! Yeah, I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Stop! <laughs> well, hold on! Is he supposed to give us something? He already gave it to oh. us. Oh. I was like... Did I piss him off? It's like, no, get out of my face. This is up by the, uh... Fight. This is impossible to run and then make... There! I hate it when that happens. It's up here. Oh, it's okay. You're just going without you. I hate it when that happens. Because sometimes when I'm playing... It's irritating like, to run around. It's sometimes I'll just hit the, um... I'll just hit the... I'll hit everything but the door and fire at a leaf through. Or Emerald. And it's just like, you know what? This is really annoying. I just hit it like two or three times. Like, really? Uh, well, that was literally like you just jumped off the thing. Oh. 
Okay, so this just leaves one left. I'm in midair. And that's right talk. over there. We both talked. Uh, well, there's like, five in all, so. I know. This is an even one, so I can. Oh. Okay. Yes! Damn. Ha ha! <laughs> Last time it was me doing it all. So long, sucker! Ha ha! Alrighty then. Let's just casually jump our way up. There we go. Um. Yeah, let's go to the tea house. And then we can go die and stuff later. That's an N. Shut up. Even though we haven't gone in there and explained it yet, what the N does. Oh, come on. I have been looking for you. Is that so? Is that you, wise man? How have you been? You're so kicking now, wise man. Watch your tongue, boy. I'm full of spitting vinegar. <sighs> Actually, I've been reading some literature about ghosts. And I came across something horrible. Oh. So horrible, sir. Probably found out that I'm a Hollywood idol. I want to play some Beverly Hills. Some 300 years ago, a demon appeared in the world of ghosts. He calls himself Dakuki. And he demolished everything he could get his hands on. Now he's been trying to come up to Edu. So he's just succeeded in invading Edu. No, just when he was emerging from the underworld, all the ghosts used their power. To imprison the demon in a mysterious container. That ghost must be Bismaru. He tries to... Bismaru is trying to revive. It was Dark Huki. That's correct. Who said that Takuki single-handedly nearly destroyed the entire ghost world? If this evil has been revived, it could be calamitous. We'd better go quickly and stop Bismar and take back the machine. Or I have a feeling we'll fall into dire times. Let's get going, everyone! 